lovely people and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. Today's class has been requested by one of my lovely subscribers, Ivana. Herself and her husband both play racket sports, so if you're into tennis, badminton or squash, this will be the class for you. Right, without further ado, let's get started. So we're starting off on our mats, lying in Shavasana, palms facing upwards towards the ceiling. Just let your legs feet flop out to the side. If you could tuck your chin into your chest for me, pop your head back down on your mat, just to ensure your spine and necks nice and long. So as always, starting off with some simple pranayama breathing, inhaling, exhaling through our nostrils. On the inhalation, your stomach should rise, and on the exhalation, your stomach should lower, just to ensure using your full lung capacity. So counting you in. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Inhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Exhaling on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. So as always, we we'll stay with that breath throughout our practice. No holding your breath in yoga. We're going to some gentle moving back to our bodies now, wiggling the fingers and toes. Gently turning those feet out and in, just rocking those feet all the way from those hip sockets, everything lovely and relaxed. Gently rolling the arms, wrists, hands, gently by your body. And lastly, just gently turning your head from side and to side. First of our stretches now, we're just inhaling the arms above the head, really big stretch in the fingers and toes, for a nice stretch going on in those abdominal muscles. And then exhale the arms down by your side. We're doing that one more time. Really big stretch in the fingers and toes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Then exhale the arms down by your side. So normal warm-ups, taking the right knee into the chest, right knee into the chest, interlinking those fingers, holding just below that right knee and pull that knee in as tight as you can. In this posture, you should feel your spine and back go nice and flat on the mat. As always, we're trying to constrict that blood flow into that right hip area where we release blood flows in with the new nutrients and oxygenated blood. Last couple of breaths here. Okay, so on the next inhale, inhaling our nose up to touch the knee, nose up to touch the knee, shoulders roll back and down, that nice long crown of your head towards the ceiling. If you wish for more here, you're taking that left leg off the mat and you can flex into both those heels, toes to the ceiling. The tap. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax back down. So it's right foot down to the mat, left leg extends up towards the ceiling, bending the left knee, bring the left foot as close down into your tummy, half per mask if you can. Your left hand arm goes through the gap in between legs, and we're clasping the hands just below the right knee, trying to pull the nose and knee in together. Don't panic if you can't reach around the front of the calf, hold around the back of the right thigh. And as always, if you need to, just rest your body back down on your mat. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more done. Untangle those legs, place them both back down on the mat. So left leg is flat on the mat, All right leg extends up towards the ceiling, clasping the hands around the base of the right thigh, trying to pull that leg nice and straight over the top of your head. For more here, you're flexing the toes back to the wall behind. If you're having trouble straightening that leg, bend the left knee, bring that left foot in towards the left buttock and you'll find you have a lot more flexibility in that right leg. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release your clasp on the leg, pull your tummy in and nice and slowly just lower that right leg down to the mat. Okay, let's want the other side, so left knee into the chest, yet again into linking those fingers, this time just below that left kneecap, pull it in nice and tight, nice deep breath. Okay, so on the next inhale, inhaling our nose up to touch the knee again, nose up to touch the knee, shoulders roll back and down, that nice long crown of your head towards the ceiling. But again, only if you wish for more, flex into those heels, get that right leg off the mat, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Well done. We're taking that left foot down to the mat. Right leg extends up towards the ceiling, bending the right knee, putting the right foot as close down to your tummy, half per masna if you can. Right hand arm goes through the gap in between the legs, and yet again we're clasping the hands just below the left knee, pulling nose and knee in together. Yet again, if you can't reach around the front of the calf, hold around the back of that left thigh, and if you need to, just relax your body back down on your mat. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Untangle those legs. Place them both back down on the mat. So right leg stays flat on the mat. Left leg extends up towards the ceiling, clasping the hands around the base of the left thigh, trying to pull that leg nice and straight over the top of your head. Yet again, for more, you're flexing those toes back to the wall behind. If you're finding this tough, don't panic. Bend the right knee, bring the right foot into the right buttock, and that should make this a lot easier. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just relinquish your clasp on the legs, put your tummy in tight, and we're just lowering the leg down, nice and controlled. And once that leg is on the mat, we're going to bring the knees into the chest for a well-deserved hug. And as always, just gently rocking from side to side. Right, up we come to seated. We're going to take our legs into a nice wide triangle. So we're taking hold of the fleshy part of our bottom and pulling it back. Legs nice and wide if you can. Keep the, the knees nice and straight and we're trying to flex those toes back towards us. We're extending the arms up to the ceiling, big stretch up and then we're coming forward and down, forward and down. Just relax there, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and up we come. Now we're bending the right knee, we're placing the right foot to the inside of the left thigh or if you're more supple you can take yourself into half pamasa. We're extending the arms up to the ceiling, big stretch up then we're twisting over that left leg and we're coming forward and down. So ideally nose and knee to knee, forehead to shin. Don't panic if you can't, just clasp where you can, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and up we come. So we're taking the hand down, trying to take hold of the big toe, the calf, or the ankle. We're bending the elbow to the inside of that leg, and we're dropping this right arm over the top. Now, it's important we don't lean forward here. You won't feel the benefits. You feel that stretch all the way down the right side of your body, staying there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more done. And up you come. We're swapping those legs over now. So right leg out, so left foot to the inside or half pamasana once more. We're extending those arms up to the ceiling, big stretch up then twisting over that right leg and forward and down we come. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Once more, up we come. So taking your hand down to the big toe, the calf, the ankle, we're bending the elbow to the inside. And once more, we're dropping the left arm over the top of the head, big stretch down the side of your body, looking up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up you come. Well done. Now from here we're going straight into our cow's head pose. So we're going to have the left knee underneath and the right knee bends over the top. Now it's important here both your buttocks are on the mat. Now if this is enough for you that's fine. You can just simply walk your hands out in front and stay there. As we're doing one for racket sports today, we're staying the right arm up. We're bending that right elbow, pulling with the left hand to that elbow behind your head, taking the other hand up behind. And if you can, you're interlinking those fingers. It's a big stretch for those shoulders, which we need to work today. And then we're coming forward and down. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up we come, give those shoulders to roll back and down, and we're going to swap those legs over. So it's going to be the right knee on the floor, we're bending the left leg over the top, ideally those knees are stacked upon each other, yet again if this is enough for you here, you can walk those hands out in front and drop down there. Otherwise you're extending your left arm up to the ceiling, big stretch up, bending the elbow, taking hold of the left elbow with the right hand, pull it behind you, taking the other hand up, if you can, interlinking those fingers, and coming down. Staying there 
the ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up you come. Give those shoulders a lovely roll back and down. Okay, we're going into our cat and our cows. So we're coming up to the hands and the knees now. Lovely, more restorative work for our spine. So knees are underneath those hips, hands underneath your shoulders. So for our cat, we're talking our bottom under, head under, chin under, looking at our tummy, really squeezing the hands to the floor, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then into our cow. So it's bottom up, head up, chin up, the 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Another cat. So tuck your bottom under, head under, chin under, hands pushing against the mat for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Another cow stretch, bottom up, head up, chin up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Bring your spine back to neutral. Take those knees nice and wide. You can let you have a little rest here. Down. And now we've got those hands to the mat. You're trying to, if you wish for more, you're pushing your hands against the mat, trying to push your bottom elbow and down towards the floor. Relax your head down. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your weight forward onto those elbows. Bring those knees together. I'm being kind today, can have a little rest in child's pose for a moment. So nice and slowly, we're just uncurling, put your tummy in, we're just uncurling, and we're on way up to seated, we're giving those shoulders a lovely roll back and down. Now, such an easy pose here, I'd like you to interlink those hands, fingers behind your back like so. We're pushing the hands down away to those feet, arms locked and straight, and we're simply dropping our chin down towards our chest. We'll work for the shoulders here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one release. Give your shoulders a lovely roll back and down. Okay, from here up we come to standing. We're taking our legs into a nice wide trick and We've got our feet parallel facing forward and we're locking back those knees. Now behind your back, we're interlinking those hands and interlinking those fingers, pushing them down away to the floor. And then we're simply dropping those arms over the top of our head. So just, excuse me, so just relax there, head and neck, gentle shake from side to side. If you wish for more here, you're shifting your weight forward onto your toes, pushing your bottom tailbone up towards the ceiling. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, dropping the hands down to the mat, head hanging on saying, head and neck, gentle shake from side to side. So left hand goes to the floor, where we're looking at the floor, we're taking the right arm up to the ceiling, twisting around, looking up to that hand for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower down, head hanging, arms hanging, head, neck, gentle shake from side to side. Other side now, so right hand to the mat where you're looking at the floor, left arm that stands up to the ceiling, twisting around to look up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. So we're going to bend our knees slightly here, pull your tummy in, we're just uncurling. Up we come. And once we're up standing, we're going to give our shoulders a lovely roll back and down, and you can walk those feet in. Okay, we're placing the left foot at the back of the mat, right foot comes forward. Now here, we want the heel up off the floor on the left foot, we're bending the right knee. So this is warrior in yoga, slightly different to normal, we're clasping those hands once more behind our back and we're pushing them down to the floor. So you should be opening your chest, you should feel that going on, looking up if you can. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, release, we're stepping that left foot in, taking the right foot back. So start on a pivoted ankle, then move your foot around, heel off the floor, bending that left knee, clasping those hands once more behind you, pushing them down away to the floor, looking up to the ceiling. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, step that foot in. 
Okay, so we're going on to our warrior twos now. So right foot out to the right, heel back, back on that left foot. We're bending that knee now, we want our tummies square to this side of the room, so in front of you. Right arm out in front, left arm out behind. You're looking down the middle finger on your right hand. Now when you're here, squash your feet into your mat. Imagine you're trying to break your mat in two with those feet. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten that right leg, pivoting around. Walk those toes out a little bit further if you can. So sinking on down, looking down, squish those feet into the mat. The ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Step that foot in. Okay, so your left foot's at the back of the mat, right foot comes forward. So we're taking the left arm up to the ceiling here. We're trying to bring that left hand to the right side of the right foot. If you can't keep the hand to the inside, that's fine. It's a revolved triangle. We're looking up to that right hand if we can. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, up we come and step that foot in. So right foot comes back, left leg out in front, really extending that right arm up to the ceiling. So yet again, trying to bring the right hand to the left side of that left foot. If you can't, bring it to the inside, that's fine. And then we're reaching the left arm up to the ceiling, twisting around, looking up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more done. We're stepping that foot in and we're just going to stay there. We're gonna walk our feet out to hip distance apart. We're grabbing opposite elbows and we're just going to hang there for a moment. Nice deep breaths. If you want a little bit more here, really work your bottom up towards the ceiling. You feel a deep stretch out the backs of those legs. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, bend those knees, we're uncurling, nice and slowly. Up we come and give those shoulders a lovely roll back and down. So again, working the shoulders and the legs, we're going to our lovely chair pose, so feet hip distance apart, raising those arms up to shoulder level, and we're sinking on down. So bending the knees, it's bottom out behind, chin out in front. If you wish for more here, you're taking those arms up to the ceiling and taking those toes off the floor. Once you're here, you're really working those outside edges to the mat. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up we come, and lower down that arm. Okay, we're coming down to those knees, we're going straight up into our lovely downward facing dog, walking out those heels, head and neck, nice and relaxed. So we're just staying here in down dog, lovely posture in its own right. So heels down, bottom up towards ceiling, spread those fingertips out. We should be evenly distributed through your palms and your fingers. So you're really working your bottom toe in up to the ceiling, heels down if you can. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Why are we going to go into our lovely pigeon? So we're gonna lift the right leg up, we're swinging it through, so it's right leg through under the left leg, right leg through under the left leg, right knee to the right outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down, so your right heel is where your left hip bone is, approximately arms out in front, forehead resting on your mat. Just stay there. Last few breaths. Okay, from here we're pushing ourselves up halfway, we're popping our right hand in front of us, bending that left knee if you can, taking hold of that left foot or ankle and gently pulling that foot in towards your left buttock. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release, well done, we're going back up into a walking down dog, get some blood circulating back into those legs. And then we're swinging left leg through under the right, left leg through under the right, left knee to the left outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down. So that left heel is where your right hip bone is approximately. Leaning your forehead down on your hands or your mat. Just stay there. Nice 
Last couple of breaths. Okay, so up we come halfway again. Left hand in front, bending that right knee. If you can grab a hold of that right foot, we're ankle gently pulling it in. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Well done. Back up into our lovely walking dad dog. Get some blood circulating back in those legs we just compressed. And then looking forward, stepping or jumping into cross legged on your mat. Well done. Okay, so legs out in front are Ardha Matsyandrasana, our half seated spinal twist. So we're taking hold of the fleshy part of our bottom and pull it back. We're taking the right foot over the left leg, right foot over the left leg. If you're more advanced here, you can bend that other leg back, but both buttocks should be on the mat. We're taking the right hand to the base of the spine, left arm pushes against the right thigh, and we're twisting around looking over our right shoulder. Now, if you're more advanced here, you can go into the bind where you hook your left arm underneath your right leg, right hand comes behind, clasping the hands, and you're twisting around still, looking over that right shoulder. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Well done. So popping those legs out in front, we're taking the left foot over the right leg, left foot over the right leg. Yet again, if you're new to this, keep your leg out in front. Otherwise, you're going to take it back. But yet again, both buttocks should stay on the mat. Left hand goes to the base of the spine. You're pushing your right arm against that left thigh, twisting around. Yet again, for more, you're hooking your right arm underneath your left leg. Left hand behind, clasping the hands and twisting around to the back of the room. For 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Well done. Bring those legs out in front. With our spines, we're just doing a little twisting movement here. So release that spine up a little bit more. Well done. We're lying down now. Just a couple more nice, relaxing, warm downs. So we're bending the knees. Feet come into those buttocks. Those knees we're dropping to the left hand the side. We're taking the right arm out to the right and we're simply looking down the right arm. So just resting there. Keep your right shoulder blade on your mat. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. One more done. We're taking the knees up to centre, and you guessed it, they're going to drop to the right this time. Your left arm will go out to the left, looking down that left arm, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One more done. Take the knees back up to centre, give the knees a little hug, and rocking gently from side to side. So when you're ready, we're rocking ourselves up to seated on our mats. So I hope you enjoyed today's class for Racket Sports. Thank you very much for joining me for your practice. Please leave me a comment down below. And let me know how you got on. As always, if you like this practice, please give me a thumbs up. And if you could like and subscribe to my channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.